Hello? What? in time. I'm lost out here and I ain't got no food and no water. Could you uh, please take me to town? Please? Uh, why not? Oh, you're a good man. A good man. Ah! Ah! Prick! Just had to ask for help, huh? Oh, that's amazing. If you say so. 
Are you, uh, who? Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch! She's a witch! Who? Presta! Well, she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. No. Stay away from me. Hey, Honor, come back here. Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Over here, dummy! Need a volunteer from the. Well, ain't you led me on a merry old dance? Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there. Ah. God, so damn it. long, dummy. Where are you? You little. Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? 
What do you need a stump of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram! You got Dummy over there! Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? Ha 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 ha! Shut up, you dimwit! You sold me out! You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy! Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you uh, are going to be pulling uh, rabbits out of your uh, ass until you are as uh, old as you are tiny. Uh, Put them up there. Uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. Oh, uh, no. Come to Mama. Oh, I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together! Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you! Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I done to deserve you too? Mister, I think you got me mixed up with someone. 
Now, now. I never forget a face. Never. Enjoy spending your blood money. Whatever you heard, it wasn't me. Honest. This rain. Y yo que me había puesto mi mejor acuerdo. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Ladies. Leho. Hello. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Mm. Hey, mister. So a fella rooting around the graveyard the other day. Awful business. Pero que mundo. Had enough of my attention. Hello, mister. What to do? My friend, my friend, it is me, Charles Chatonnet, the painter. <laughs> okay. What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. As bad as it is. <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave. Go far away. We will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint-Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization. So repressive. So stifling. I can hardly breathe in this city. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know. I know those men. Oh, I shot on the bar. Quick, behind here. We stay behind here. Allez, allez, vite. We are away! Come now! Follow me! Those fellers... You... You... 
shat on their bar. But of course, I needed to shit. Hey, come on! My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there. Remind me to avoid that place. Back, back. See money lenders. We go another way. We go through here. What's this? Quickly! Oh, it's nothing. I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. Now get moving, come on. So, wait. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of brilliance. Not so much. The new kinds of David? The whole in offense. We go there. Ah, <laughs> country boy thinks he can pack it in the city. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> taking bits out of people and keeping them. Pa told me. Well, no this way to the end of the docks. Well, I was going to buy the red ones to bring out the colors in your cheeks, but then I thought. The Hush! Hey, I may know these people. But maybe something gayer. A purple, perhaps. We are in Saint Denis, after all. What are you looking at? Bar shit, money borrowing, wife stealing. You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed a feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? With my impropriety, a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth, that is something that matters. Look at you, pretty little thing. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Hello, boys. Come on. Come on back now, baby. I hope the sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. Ship's leaving soon. Ah, merci, merci. All aboard for the South Pacific. Adieu. Merci, mon ami. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there the light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir.
folks, but it looks like the train will be late getting into the station. Just a moment, please. I'm glad you're doing the right thing.
Joseph. Hola. Bad I'm staying. Excuse me. Morning. Have a nice morning. Sorry. Please be careful. For Christ's sake. Just leave me alone. Hey, watch it. This rain's already ruined my good shoes. Yes, I'm soaked. I'm going! Don't do anything! I... I hope you don't plan any more molestations. Let's make this quick, yes? I'm in no mood to socialize. Sure. Wow me. I'm a busy man. Ninja. Sir.
Why is this happening? Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. Uh, help them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show. <laughs> All right. Welcome, welcome everyone. I am your host, Aldridge we T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it. Anywhere, in an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest no! dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low, and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true, for it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. Uh, come on, do it, do it! Uh, all right. Uh, 
show is this? Your freak nearly killed me! No, 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 no! no. Hey, I'm a master of apparition! Oh my god! Um, dissipation! And even the art of <laughs> transfiguration! <laughs> Mate! What the hell is I have mastered hypnosis! Telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. And now, for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her for this. Rob Let's see. Doing your nasty little pervert. What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show. You're not like that. You're not. I give up. Okay, my choice. Go follow your brother. Well, well that's our show. <laughs> Thanks, Sandy. All ticket sales are final. Well, tiny people and tiny-headed giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me! I discovered yep, this yeah. next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. Yeah. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him, I bathed him, I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold, presenting Benjamin Lazarus! and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught bedding my wife. <laughs> I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. Oh, <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old, with all manner of feats of amazement, but none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. Oh, I, I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She 
will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger. Using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant Orient, I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lally Cola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. Here we go! Oh, yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god, come on! Oh my god! What's Sweet Jesus. Going on here? Oh my god. Yeah. 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 That always scares me. <laughs> now, observe. As I, the great Benjamin insane. Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death. As if it were nothing. Oh, what is he doing? Christ. Let's do that again. Hmm? All right. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. Oh, damn. <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm huh. to watch the show. And Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. Wow. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my Did teeth. Hey, no show better. Is no one man enough? Come on, someone, stand up and take a shot. All right. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will prove to you I am the greatest entertainer to ever live and the only man who laughs at death. Now, ready? Take a. Whoa, oh, gonna fight is too much. This is incredible. And fire. Just an illusion, after all. <laughs> yes! Yes! Truly! A feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He yeah. certainly does me. <laughs> now, I discovered this next remarkable woman in the lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino!
Oh, wonderful. Oh, incredible. It's still hot in here, huh? <laughs> incredible. Bravo. Though I must warn you, court her at your peril. She'll not nurse babies. She'd turn them into bacon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He liked that, Joe. Yes. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland, where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky. for joining us today. This here is a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. Yeah. This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to Saint Denis. And they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss, except for the inventor of the telephone. Because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! 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 I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him across the telephone. I can't see my honey, but he's mine all right. This gal just can't leave a man alone. Every single morning you will hear me yell. He central picks me up along the line. They connect me with my honey and I ring my bell. And this is what I say to baby mine. Hello. Blackwater calling. Oh, Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. I sure do worry that the wires might get crossed and it will separate me from my baby mine. Then tune. She is a siren singing from the rocks as men bash into them to their doom. Thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. I hope it has delayed for a